The Jeep Grand Cherokee is a mid-size SUV produced by the Jeep division of American manufacturer Chrysler. While some other SUVs were manufactured with body-on-frame construction, the Jeep Grand Cherokee has always used an unibody chassis. Development The Grand Cherokee's origins date back to 1983 when American Motors Corporation was designing a successor to the smaller Jeep Cherokee. Three outside Dizik Nurse Euro Larry Shinoda, Adam Klenet, and Jaya Jetta Jayujiro Euro were also under contract with AMC to create and build a clay model of the Cherokee XJ replacement, then known as the XJC project. However, the basic design for the Cherokee's replacement was well underway by AMC's in-house designers and the 1989 Jeep Concept One show car foretold the basic design. As AMC began development of the next Jeep in 1985, management created a business process that now known as product lifecycle management. According to Frenna Section Wa Casting, Vice President for Product Engineering and Development, the smallest U.S. automaker was looking for a way to speed up its product development process to compete better against its larger competitors. The XJC's development was aided by computer-aided design software systems making the engineers more productive while new communication systems allowed potential conflicts to be resolved faster, thus reducing costly engineering changes because all drawings and documents were in a central database. The system was so effective that after Chrysler purchased AMC in 1987, it expanded the system throughout its enterprise thus connecting everyone involved in designing and building products. The Grand Cherokee thus became the first Chrysler Badge Jeep product. Development work for the new Jeep model continued and Chrysler's employees were eager for a late 1980s release date. However, CEO Lee Iacocca was pushing for redesigned Chrysler minivans, thus delaying the Grand Cherokee's release until late 1992 as an Explorer competitor. Unlike the Explorer, the Grand Cherokee utilized monocoque construction, whereas the Explorer was a derivative of the Ranger pickup with a separate body on frame. The Grand Cherokee debuted in grand fashion at the 1992 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. The vehicle that was driven was a poppy red clear coat 1993 Grand Cherokee ZJ Laredo with a quartz cloth interior and high back bucket seats. Then a Chrysler President Robert Lutz drove Detroit Mayor. Coleman Young, from the Jefferson North Assembly Plant on North Jefferson Avenue via a police escort to Cobo Hall, up the steps of Cobo Hall and through a plate glass window to show off the new vehicle. Sales of the 1993 model year Grand Cherokee began in April 1992. Production of the Grand Cherokee started shortly afterward in the purpose-built Jefferson North Assembly in Detroit, Michigan. European Grand Cherokees are manufactured in Austria by Magna Steer. The Grand Cherokee played a significant part in reviving Chrysler's fortunes by moving it into the then nascent market for high margin sports utility vehicles. First Generation The original Grand Cherokee was launched in 1992 as a 1993 model year vehicle in the luxury SUV segment. The ZJ models, manufactured from 1992 to 1998, originally came in three trim levels Base, Laredo, and Limited. The base model included features such as full instrumentation, cloth interior, a standard five-speed manual transmission, while gaining the moniker SE name for the 1994 model year. Power windows and locks were not standard equipment on the base and SE, although they were finally included in 1995. The minimal price tag differential resulted in low consumer demand, and as a result, the low-line model was eventually discontinued. Additional standard features included a driver-side airbag and four-wheel anti-lock braking system. The Laredo was the mid-scale model with standard features that included power windows, power door locks, and cruise control. Exterior features included medium gray plastic paneling on the lower body and five-spoke aluminum wheels. The Limited was the premium model, featuring lower body paneling that was the same color as the rest of the vehicle. The Limited also boasted standard features such as leather seating, power sunroof, heated mirrors, heated power seats, and a keyless entry system. The upcountry version was also offered between 1993 and 1997, often painted champagne pearl, or black. 
it came with 4WD and a 4.0 straight 6. Package groups with the various trim levels included, convenience, fog lamp slash skid plate, lighting, luxury, power, security, trailer towing. When it was first introduced in April 1992 as an early 1993 model year vehicle, the Grand Cherokee only had one powertrain choice, the 4.0 L AMC derived 4.0 L power tech I6 engine that made 190 horsepower. This became the volume engine for the Grand Cherokee. Transmission choices included a four-speed automatic transmission replaced the AW4 during the latter half of the 1993 model year, or an A's and AX15 manual transmission. The drivetrain choices included rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. In 1995, the engine dropped 5 horsepower to 185 due to new EPA regulations imposed on the 1996 model year. In 1998, a variant of the Grand Cherokee Limited, the 5.9L Limited was introduced and claimed to be the fastest SUV available in the U.S. market due to engine enhancements. The primary improvements in the 5.9 Limited version included a 5.9L engine, hood louvers and silver star wheels. Other features were consistent with the standard Limited version. Export models produced at the plant in Graz, Austria were given the vehicle designation of ZG. Second generation. The redesigned WJ 1999 Grand Cherokee shared just 127 parts with its predecessor. The spare tire was relocated from the side of the cargo compartment to under the floor. The two heavy pushrod V8 engines were replaced by Chrysler's then new Powertech. New V8 engine produced less torque than the old pushrods, but was lighter, offered better fuel economy, and provided similar on-road performance figures. The inline-six engine was also updated in 1999. A redesign of the intake manifold added 10 horsepower. While other Jeep vehicles used the Mopa 5X 4.5 bolt circle, this was the first Jeep following the 1987 Chrysler buyout to receive a wider bolt pattern, AA Euro 5X5. A notable feature available in this generation was the automatic four-wheel drive option called Quadra Drive, which employed the new Venture Gear NV247 transfer case. This two-speed chain-driven transfer case uses a gerota, a clutch pack coupled to a hydraulic pump, to transfer torque between the front and rear axles. The transfer case contains three modes, four all-time, neutral, and four low. In four all-time, 100% of torque is sent to the rear axle in normal conditions. If the rear axle starts spinning at a higher rate than the front axle, hydraulic pressure builds up in the gerota and causes the clutch pack to progressively transfer torque to the front axle until both axles return to the same speed. Neutral mode is intended for towing the vehicle. In full low, the front and rear axles are locked together through a 2.72 reduction gear ratio. The NV247 transfer case is mated to front and rear axles containing Jeep's Vari lock differentials. Vari lock differentials also use a gerota to transfer torque between the wheels on either side of the axle. The major advantage of Quadra Drive was that the combined transfer case and progressive locking differentials in each axle could automatically control traction between all four wheels. However, only the center differential could be permanently locked and only in four low. The Quadra Track 2 system included the NV247 transfer case with the standard open front and rear differentials. The 45er FE and 545er FE automatic transmission in the WJ was notable. It included three planetary gear sets rather than the two normally used in a four-speed automatic. This gave it six theoretical speeds, and it would have been the first six-speed transmission ever produced in volume but it was programmed to only use five of these ratios. Four were used for upshifts, with a different second gear for downshifts. Although five of the six ratios were used, Chrysler decided to call it a four-speed automatic. In 2001, the programming was changed to make use of all six ratios. Rather than have six Ford gears, the transmission was programmed to act as a five-speed with the alternate second gear for downshifts. The RPM at 70 mph on a 545er FE is 2000 RPMs, 
200 RPMs less than the 45 RFE programming. 1999 and 2000 model year WJ owners can have their 45 RFE transmissions programming flashed to enable the extra gears both transmissions are physically the same. The 42 RE4 speed automatic remain the transmission for the inline 6 engine. It had slight changes from the previous model Grand Cherokee. The interior was also completely redesigned in 1999. The redesign allowed for larger rear doors, and more space for rear passengers. Controls for various items like headlights, heated seats, and rear wiper were moved to more convenient locations. The electronic vehicle information center was moved from below the radio to above the windshield, and was standard on all 2000 and up models. Limited models included automatic dual zone climate control. A 10 CD changer was also available with the Infinity Audio package. In addition to Jeep's uni frame construction, Daimler Chrysler partnered with Porsche to further strengthen the frame. This was done to reduce NVH. Uniframe is an unusual construction scheme, it incorporates all of the strength and durability of a body on frame construction into a unitized construction. By adding stiffness and rigidity to the structure, they enhanced the ride and strengthened the network of steel beams, rails and pillars that surround and protect occupants. More than 70% of the underbody is high-strength steel. All Jeep Grand Cherokees feature uniframe construction. The Grand Cherokee received a minor facelift for 2004 including round fog lamps, a lower front fascia and a new body color matched and set grille design. Export models produced at the plant in Graz, Austria, were given the vehicle designation of WG. Third generation. The all-new WK Grand Cherokee debuted in 2004 for the 2005 model year. It was first unveiled at the 2004 New York International Auto Show. Features available for the first time in a Jeep included Quadra Drive 2 four-wheel drive, rear seat DVD player and optional 5.7L Hemi V8. The 3.7L V6 engine replaced the 4.0L straight six. The design still emphasizes power and luxury, with significant work done on improving noise, vibration, and harshness. However, for the first time, Jeep also emphasized on-road performance to a similar extent as the cornerstone of its brand, off-road capability. This newfound emphasis on on-road refinement led Jeep to replace the XJ era live axle with leading arms front suspension with a new design, an independent double wishbone setup like that which debuted in the 2002 Liberty. The new Jeep changed its philosophy due to what it perceived as increasing demand in the SUV marketplace for on-road performance and decreasing demand for off-road capability. Although classed as a truck-based SUV, the WK Grand Cherokee has more luxuries of a crossover especially with NVH. The 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee made its European debut at the Eurocamp Jeep held in Ardache, France. The Grand Cherokee received a minor facelift for 2008. The bottom part of the headlights became rounded and high-intensity discharge headlamps with auto-leveling were added and the lower portion of the front bumper became removable to increase the approach angle for off-road use. The 4.7L was refined, now producing 305 HP, and 334 LBAFT. The 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee is available with an improved 5.7 L Hemi engine rated at 357 HP and 389 LBAFT of torque. The engine uses variable valve timing to increase fuel economy. Fourth Generation The fourth generation Jeep Grand Cherokee went on sale in summer 2010 as a 2011 model. It was unveiled at the 2009 New York Auto Show. The fourth-generation Grand Cherokee retains its classic Jeep styling combined with a modern and sleek body style. The interior is luxurious, featuring leather trim and real wood accents, plus state-of-the-art electronics options. The 2011 Grand Cherokee has won 30 awards for off-road capability, luxury, value, best-in-class, and safety, making it the most awarded SUV ever. Among the awards are Top safety pick for 2011 from the IIHS, listed as a Consumer's Digest Best Buy for 2011, Safest SUV in America by MSN Autos, 
and Truck of the Year for 2011 by the Detroit News. The body design is all new and has undergone testing for aerodynamic efficiency while improving ruggedness with more than 5,400 welds in the body alone. This results in a 146% increase in torsional rigidity compared to the previous design. This improves durability and reduces noise, vibration, and harshness. Like the previous generations, the chassis is a steel underbody. Unlike previous models, the new WK2 features four-wheel independent suspension for better on-road handling. The Grand Cherokee WK2 platform uses a derivative based on Mercedes-Benz's W166 series. Engine choices include the all-new 3.6L Pentastar V6 and 5.7L Hemi V8. Four-wheel drive systems include Quadra Track I, Quadra Track II, and Quadra Drive II. Optional Quadra lift air suspension can raise vehicles' ground clearance up to 11.1 in. Lift modes include Park, Aero, Normal Ride Heights, Off-Road 1, and Off-Road 2. Also new is the Select Terrain, which has modes for Auto, Sport, Snow, Sand Mud, and Rock. The Hemi V8 retains the multiple displacement system that shuts down four cylinders in low-power driving situations and the V8 remains coupled with the multi-speed automatic transmission which includes electronic range selection to manually limit the high gear operating range. Trailer tow is weighted 7,400 LB for Hemi models and 5,000 LB for Pentastar models. The 3.6 L Pentastar V6 replaces the 3.7 L and 4.7 L power tech engines. The 5.7 L Hemi engine was retained as the V8 option although no Hemi badging is used on the exterior of the vehicle. Also, the WK program code remains. Some features changed with this generation are the handbrake being replaced by a footbrake, and the wiper stalk on the right side of the steering column being moved to the turn signal stalk, which also means the lights move to the dash. Also new is a heated steering wheel, standard on Overland and SRT8 models and available on limited models. A 3.0L turbocharged diesel V6 developed and built by Fiat Powertrain Technologies and VM Motor rated at 177 a kilowatt and 550 a nm of torque will be offered in export markets by mid-2011. The new 3.0L CRD de Bo diesel engine will also be offered in European markets as 140 a kilowatt low-power version. For the 2011 model year, the Grand Cherokee was offered in five trim levels, Laredo, Laredo X, Limited, Overland, and Overland Summit. The Performance SRT8 version returned for the 2012 model year. Also for 2012 S Limited model was offered in Germany. Laredo was the basic model, and could be upgraded to the X trim package for upgraded luxury features. Limited was the luxurious model. Overland was the top of the line trim package and Overland Summit was the most expensive trim package, prior to 2012. The SRT8 392 version was the most expensive trim package for 2012, and added the 6.4-liter, 392 cubic inch, 470 horsepower V8 HEMI engine and a 6-speed automatic transmission. It also offered a tweaked version of the Selig terrain system that added performance-enhanced modes to its basis. In mid-2012, Jeep started a sweepstakes in order to help name a production intent concept car based on the Laredo X model. The vehicle featured a black leather interior, 20-inch wheels with black finished tires, black colored body components, and more. The winner of the sweepstakes would get their winning name put onto the vehicle, and would win one of the first of these vehicles when they would be put into production in May 2012. In March 2012, the winning name of Altitude was picked, and Jeep also put the Altitude name on both the Jeep Compass and Jeep Patriot, based on the sport models of both of the aforementioned vehicles. They will be sold alongside the Grand Cherokee Altitude Special Edition. On June 25, 2012, Jeep announced that the 2013 model year, slated to go on sale in August 2012, will be shortened due to plans to unveil an upgraded version for the 2014 model year which could go on sale after its introduction at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show. In September 2012,
Jeep announced three new limited production models of the Grand Cherokee. The first Grand Cherokee would be the Trailhawk edition, which took the name from the 2007 Jeep Trailhawk concept, upon which the 2011 Grand Cherokee was based. The Trailhawk edition has Kevlar reinforced off road tires, alloy wheels, a two tone hood stripe, and black leather interior. The model is based on the Laredo X, and includes its features. The next two models were the SRT8 Alpine and Vapor editions, the Alpine edition featuring bright white clear coat exterior paint, and the Vapor edition featuring brilliant black crystal pearl coat exterior paint. Features such as a black faced front grille, smoked alloy wheels and a black leather and suede interior are standard. This model builds on the features of the standard Grand Cherokee SRT8. Due to the popularity of the originally limited edition Altitude Edition model, Jeep announced that the Altitude Edition Grand Cherokee would be produced once again for 2013. It is unchanged from 2012. The Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, Jeep Compass, and Jeep Patriot Altitude Editions would be discontinued, though. These were available only for 2012. In early 2014, Jeep announced the all-new Altitude Edition lineup, the Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, Jeep Compass, Jeep Patriot, Jeep Cherokee, and Jeep Grand Cherokee. The Grand Cherokee Altitude Edition model is based on the Laredo E, and adds an 8.4-inch Connect touchscreen stereo, Capri leather seating surfaces, dual power front seats, heated front seats, remote start, home link, black finished 20-inch alloy wheels, blacked out details, black finished front grille with bright mesh inserts, and more. Unlike in 2012, the 2014 Altitude Edition is only available with a 3.6L Pentastar V6 engine, since it is based on the Laredo E, which also only offers that engine. MSRP starts at around $35,000. In mid-2012, electric vehicle manufacturer Imp Electric Vehicles, announced that it would be producing an electric vehicle version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, offering a great electric range and the same features of the Grand Cherokee. Slated to be available in early 2013, the AMP Grand Cherokee will have a starting price of around $50,000. AMP also produces electric vehicle versions of a step van and the Mercedes-Benz ML. Maneuverability and Handling Issues In 2012 Swedish automotive magazine Tennikens Var Currency RLD revealed that the Jeep Grand Cherokee failed one of their avoidance maneuver tests known as the Moose Test. Other SUV models in its class had no issues passing the test. German magazine Auto Motor Run Sport later tested the same press vehicle in a slightly different avoidance maneuver test than meets ISO standards. Unlike the results of the Swedish test, the Jeep remained on all four wheels and did not lose any tires to a blowout. Tennikens Var Currency RLD tested the updated 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee and found that it passed the tested. Even up to a speed of 44.1 mph. 2014 Refresh and Update On January 14, 2013, Jeep unveiled a revised WK2 Grand Cherokee at the North American International Auto Show at Kobo Center along with a revised 2014 Jeep Compass and Jeep Patriot. The new Grand Cherokee will offer a 3.0L DOHC V6 diesel engine that gets up to 30 mpg, a 3.6L Pentastar V6 engine that gets up to 24 mpg and has 290 horsepower, a 5.7L Hemi V8 engine that gets up to 21 mpg and has 360 horsepower, and the 6.4 LHEMI engine that produces 470 horsepower. The models are the Laredo, the Limited, the Overland, and the Overland Summit Edition model has been renamed Summit. A new front end with a revised body colored grille, new, smaller headlamps, and new tail lamps round out the exterior changes. The silver bezel on the back was removed. There are also new 17, 18, and 20-inch wheel and tire choices. The SRT8 model will continue to be offered, and for the first time will offer signature details like blacked-out head and tail lamps. Inside, the Summit model receives the SRT8's 19-speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system, 
All Grand Cherokees receive a new steering wheel with standard paddle shifters in every model, an 8-speed torque flight 8 automatic transmission, and an 8.4-inch touchscreen display with Garmin navigation software, an optional CD player, and the Uconnect access system first introduced in the all-new 2013 Ram 1500. A Uconnect 5.0 touchscreen radio will also be available with an optional CD player. The Select Terrain system receives multiple upgrades on four-wheel drive Grand Cherokees. New exterior colors, new interior fabrics and materials, and new interior colors become available. The SRT8 model receives a unique steering wheel with the SRT Insignia, 20-inch alloy wheels, performance tires, and details inspired by the all-new 2013 SRT Viper. The 2013 model year production was cut short to allow Jeep to start producing the new Grand Cherokee at Chrysler's Jefferson North Assembly Plant in Detroit, Michigan, where the Grand Cherokee has been built since its introduction at the 1992 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. The new Grand Cherokee started production in late January 2013, and is a 2014 model year. Engines, Transmissions, SRT8 on April 20, 2011, Jeep announced that the SRT8 version would be debuted at the 2011 New York Auto Show. According to Chrysler, it is the most powerful Jeep ever built. 0 Euro 60 and quarter mile times time in at 4.7 seconds, 13.4 seconds respectively. The Grand Cherokee SRT8 debuted alongside two other vehicles manufactured by Chrysler Corporation. The Chrysler 300 SRT8 and Dodge Charger SRT8, both of which also took a one-year hiatus while the new models debuted. The new Grand Cherokee SRT8, which started production on July 16, 2011, is equipped with a 470 HP 6.4L Hemi V8 engine. Jeep claims the new SRT8 gets 13% better fuel economy than its predecessor. To keep the gas mileage respectable, Jeep has employed a new active exhaust system that lets Chrysler's cylinder deactivating fuel saver technology operate over a wider RPM band. Chrysler claims that with a larger gas tank, the SUV can now travel up to 500 miles on a single tank, while other sources estimate range to be 450 miles. In 2014, the Grand Cherokee SRT8 was renamed the Grand Cherokee SRT. Though a line of street and racing technology core edition models were introduced for the Chrysler 300, Dodge Challenger, and Dodge Charger, the Grand Cherokee SRT did not receive this treatment. A satin carbon edition featuring a matte finish is also available for the 2014 Chrysler 300, Dodge Challenger, and Dodge Charger, though again, the Grand Cherokee SRT is not available with this package. Production In 2009, the company announced a 1.8 billion US dollars, 285,000 square feet expansion of its Jefferson North assembly plant to allow flexible manufacture of the next generation model, as well as the 2011 plus Dodge Durango off the same platform that was developed jointly with Mercedes. Safety, Euro NCAP. Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, Vehicle Structure Rated Marginal, NHTSA, Sales fire investigations and recall. In 2010, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration launched an investigation into 1993-2004 model year Jeep Grand Cherokees which involves the fuel tanks of these SUVs. Because the gas tanks are mounted between the bumper and the rear axle, a rear collision could cause the fuel tank to leak, causing a fire. The NHTCA claims that it has reports of 157 deaths resulting from fires caused by Grand Cherokees crashing. Also affected are 2002 to 2007 Jeep Liberty models and 1993 to 2001 Jeep Cherokee models, which totals about 5.1 million affected vehicles. In June 2013, Chrysler Corporation responded to the recall, agreeing to recall 2.7 million Jeeps though eliminating both the 1993-2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ and 1999-2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ from the recall. 
The recall will include 2.7 million 1993-1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ and 2002-2007 Jeep Liberty KJ vehicles. Two weeks prior to this recall, Chrysler Corporation claimed that the affected Jeep vehicles were safe, though agreed to recall the affected vehicles later. To remedy the problem, Jeep dealerships will install a trailer hitch onto the rear bumpers of Jeep vehicles that will protect the fuel tank if the vehicle is involved in a rear impact. If an affected vehicle is not currently equipped with a trailer hitch, one will be installed onto it, and older Jeep and non-factory aftermarket trailer hitches will be replaced with one from Chrysler Corporation. Despite the recall, the market for these Jeep vehicles has not suffered. See also, Jeep Cherokee the similarly named 1974-83 predecessor. References, in line. General, Berg, Phil. Jeep Grand Cherokee Preview. Car and Driver, 69 a Euro 70 a. external links, Jeep Grand Cherokee site, Australian Jeep Grand Cherokee site, only in a Jeep. Public domain Jeep promo video. Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ at Hancar.info, 3.